So you're here searching. How can you get from this to this? Maybe you will think I look kind of crazy right now with my hair curler and whatever hair is happening in the back. Well, I am saving this moment for you guys. Absolute intense moment at the end of this video. <laughs> yes! And before we get past this uncomfortableness, I would like to share my experience with you guys when we bleached our hair and toned our hair at home. Look up at the sky, ask it why are you all so Disclaimer, I am not a professional hairstylist and neither is my friend, which Kimmy is so, so freaking sweet to have done this for me. We spend the entire day doing science experiment. Ready? We're just two people who are too cheap to go to the actual salon and pay $400 to get your hair done in a day and spending another $100 after that for the rest of your life to maintain it. <laughs> With that being said, I cannot tell you exactly what to do, but I can tell you what not to do. So if you guys have been following me since the beginning, thank you so much, you know who you are. You would have noticed that my hair was once black, brown, blonde, platinum, and then purple. So you know, we've been home for an entire year and I finally decided I really need to, to look after my hair. First I got a cut. I went to a Taiwanese salon, aka my mom, my dear, dear mama. Even though the cut wasn't perfect, but I was like, whatever, you know, because I got a cut, I got my curtain bang brewing right here, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I will list all the things that I bought to bleach my hair and tone my hair. I think for me, the most nerve-wracking part of doing this is mixing the chemicals. You don't know what you're putting in the mixture. It could affect the outcome so, so much. So without further ado, let me just share with you a few, <laughs> a few things that we have learned in this process what not to do. Okay, first of all, you need to buy your bleach and developer from the same brand so they will work seamlessly together. And the bleach that we use is called Blonde Me. Uh, she has never used that bleach before. <laughs> Neither have I. So blonde me is said to lift up to level nine. It's very blonde, let's just say white people blonde. That is one of the highest rated bleach on Amazon. So I got that combo. And the story about the bleach is that we have learned do not mix it until you are ready to use it. So before you put bleach in your hair, you wanna make sure your hair is ready combed and sectioned and things like that and then you mix your bleach you let it sit maybe for like five to ten minutes and then you can start to apply it but if you like us let it sit for so long and you went to get lunch and you fucking cheat chat a bit and when you come back it literally became like the science fair and it blew up okay i'm exaggerating it didn't blow up but it's kind of like those foamy mirrors that was trending on tiktok the other day we were like oh shit so we got ourselves a bowl of foaming bleach sitting there and wondering if we can use it. So I had to scramble and kind of search up on Cora whether or not we can still use a bleach that's already foamed up. Answer is yes, after so many pages of Cora reading, it's just not gonna be as effective as you would like it to be. So that kind of worked in our favor because we were gonna use that batch for a touch up on some of the unevenness that happened, that is because we put the hair in buns. That is a big no-no. Don't ever do anything to your hair in bleach. This is the same concept of tie-dyeing. So if you tie-dye your shirt, you scrunch that shit up. It's going to have a pattern. That's what tie-dye is for. Same concept with bleach. I was thinking about this last night. Like, what if all the stylists actually freaking tore your hair when they're bleaching it, and then what if you open it up and then they become something else? gonna be trending. Somebody out there please test it out and tell me, okay? So yeah, the second lesson is to just leave your hair flat and don't do anything with it. Don't fold it, don't braid it, don't put it in a pixie bun. You can use the foil or not. Foil just heats up the process and make it go faster. And then congratulations if you made it to this part, you'll pass your bleaching technique. It's actually not that difficult. You just have to get someone else to do it for you so you don't miss a spot. So then you're probably applying the bleach evenly to your head. Once you rinse out everything, you're gonna have to tone your hair. Whether or not you like the blonde that you get, you need to tone it. You're gonna get brass, orange, yellow, green, I don't know. You need to choose the colors, chrome, blonde, ash blonde, violet, blue, to cancel out 
your orange and brassiness in your Persian Asian bleach Persian Asian bleach yeah. <laughs> and for the toner the brand that we use is Ion I will list them right here and down in the description box so my friend likes to mix two colors of the toner together which it makes sense because you are not just canceling out one brass you're canceling out brass and the yellow and the orange giving the hair like two different pigments to cancel out yellowness in your hair can achieve a better blonde or platinum in the future the mixture turned out to be pink it is super cute and it smells pretty good it doesn't smell as horrible as the bleach obviously another thing that we learned from toning our hair is this semi-permanent dye toner is so strong it even kind of discolored her counter i'm sorry kimmy after the toning process, everything's easy. You're gonna get your purple shampoo, you're gonna get your very, very strong conditioner and hair mask oil to take care of your hair because at that point, your hair is hanging by the thread. So this hair right here, this has been in here since morning. And I've had this on yesterday too. And I put my hair in braids. I'll show you the back. And then here's the commercial break. We'll be right back to see Michelle unfurl. I'm not abusing my child this time. Hey, you didn't expect that that was an actual commercial break. <laughs> Drop in a comment, tell me what you saw, because I'm always curious about what you two put on my videos, you know? So without further ado, I hope you guys are ready to see the masterpiece of braids overnight. And then my curtain bangs and my inch and a quarter barrel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Hopefully you learned something and then found an answer to your bleaching hair DIY home research. Yeah, it's actually seriously not that scary. Okay, you just need someone to do it for you so your hair does not become blotchy. Oh my gosh, bonus! I would suggest to get two different developers for the bleach because if you start from the bottom, you know, the bottom ones are going to process first and then the other ones will have to catch up. So use a slower developer for the bottom hair or wherever you think you're going to start, which will be the slower developer. And then use the faster ones for the rest of your head. Then you don't have to go in and be like, oh my gosh, I need to wash out this part of the bleach already because it's becoming very, very blonde. Oh, I'm going to harvest my braids. Ugh. Ooh, it's so purple. Wow. Does it look pretty? I can't see, so you're, you're gonna have to tell me. Oh man, Michelle, what the hell? You gotta braid all the way here. I only braid in the back. Now now my braid looks like this, right? Harvest the other braid. Oh, it smells so good. Loki, I think I still smell like the toner. <laughs> Because I low-key did not wash it off because I don't want my hair to fade this fast. Oh my god! I am purple! I love, I love this. Let's see the back. You can tell me how it looks. Is it like this? Oh. Oh. I can't. And this is the top of my head. Uh, we did go in and, you know, get the roots too. So I'm going to grow out my black roots later. Oh, this part from the angle looks kind of brown yeah let's see <laughs> the shake method is the best method for all and i joined the bts if i cut my hair short because now i'm actually purple the army color i look like i could be in a animated series of some sort and I'm very excited to see how the toner fades and it says on the package the brand can last up to 20 washes but it also depends on what kind of conditioner and shampoo that you use and if you maintain it, how often you wash it, you sweat, whatever things you do and if the heat of your tools will hurt it What do you guys think? I love it Let me know in the comments below and give it a thumbs up if you like my purple hair or if you... if you wanna be purple just kidding give it a thumbs up anyway so then you can use this video as a reference for when you bleach your hair later i'm so annoyed at myself um i forgot what i was gonna say so bye drop any questions that you have i'll try my best to answer good luck turning to blonde bye